guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and today we're going to be doing starting another movie marathon. We just we can't get enough of it, can we? Yes. As, as this time we're going over, sorry, over Rambo. Since we saw Rambo last blood last year, mm -hmm. and um, but we decided, hey, I got the movie set. Why don't we actually see what led up to the final movie? Mm -hmm. And given. We have every, oh, it's after Halloween, so I was like, let's not do a horror movie. It's a little mm -hmm. too late now. I got sick, so that kind of suspended the plans for doing the Resident Evil, Evil one. one. Yeah. yeah. We were going to do Resident Evil. We even considered doing Predator. But then we thought, now nah, let's go Rambo. And we all need to let off a bit of steam with the stress in the world right now, and that seems like the perfect kind of thing to do it. Exactly. Now, granted, the election's going to happen in between everything, so who knows? Where we'll be afterwards. Just remember, we're recording this on Sunday, so that's why we're not going to make any references to anything political by the time these start coming out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to go into the first one, um, Rambo, um, for, uh, not Rambo, just First Blood, and uh, I think the movie started actually. Oh. Uh, um, we better, I mean, we better get to it. So yeah, we'll see you guys on the other end. Hey guys, we just got done watching First Blood and I can see why this is a classic. Oh yeah, that wasn't just an action movie, that was a real human drama. Yeah, definitely. And throughout all this, it was gray on gray morality. There is no clear cut bad guy and even Rambo's not a clear good guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the closest thing to a good guy, but even the bad guy is not all bad. There's only one person who's a straight-on asshole bad guy. And he died pretty early on. And he got what he deserved. Unfortunately, though, because he was friends with the sheriff. And the sheriff didn't realize just how much of a piece of shit he was. Made him decide, like, oh, he's worth avenging when he wasn't. But there's so much. I looked at a bit behind some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, and it gives even more context. Like, okay, we know Rambo's a Vietnam vet. Been drifting through, through town to town. And he shows up, and the sheriff of this town, he's a Korean vet. And I did not know that Korean war veterans had such animosity towards Vietnam vets, but makes sense. Even to this day, people remember Nam. Besides the name of it, how many people really remember Korea, the Korean War? I don't. Again, just the fact that it happened, right? Mm hmm Not so, in any of the substantial details about it. Exactly. No one knows. And... I can still see why a Korean vet would feel like, well, even then, he didn't even know that, that, he just knew that this guy was a vet. Probably put two in together that he was from Nam, but didn't know anything else beyond that. So he's like, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna take you to the other side of town. Being a bit of a far affably evil asshole. But again, it's like the guy could have done worse, but then Rambo is the one who shows like, screw him, I'm going into town anyway. It's like, wow. And to be honest, when you arrest him on vagrancy, that was actually a chargeable offense back then. And then they did, there's still a moment where they could have actually pushed it, but they didn't. Rambo had his Bowie knife. You do not want to have that on you at all times, especially when it was as sharp as it was. Yeah. They don't bring it up that much, but yeah. And throughout the whole movie then, just everything spirals out of control, mostly thanks to that asshole cop. But even then, though, it's like, one thing I will give, the sheriff, you can never do a, as morally complicated of a character as you could. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You couldn't do that today. These days, he'd just be all like, I'm an asshole, and I know I'm an asshole. I don't care I'm an asshole. Here it's like, I'm an asshole because and this guy's in my town, and, you know, one of my own deputies just got killed. As far as he knows, it was murder. And this guy, yeah, I don't like this guy, but hey, we shouldn't let him off because look at all the stuff he's done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, and then, I mean, Grant, he also justified it by saying, hey, if one of my deputies was that way, he should have come to me. I would have kicked his own ass. It's like, I don't believe it. Mm. Do you think he would have, or do you think he would have made excuses? Yeah, I don't think so either. But again, throughout all this movie, it is just, it is a drama, a, a more of a psychological drama too. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, of course, there's a little bit of gore, but it's not a whole ton. And actually, some of the 
scenes that could have been bad were actually pretty obscured. Exactly. Especially when he did the traps on the cops at the beginning. You're just like, yay! Mm -hmm. The only thing, besides one, that one guy getting killed, the only other ones that definitely got killed were the dogs. Which, oh. I felt bad. But, I mean, it, well, besides those other two cops, let's be honest, those two cops died. I cannot believe that they survived. Can you, the ones in the car? Yeah, it's just like, they should have been dead. Now, again, only the car they ran into blew up. They just landed in the back. So, if nothing else, they wish they're dead. You want to bet they probably wish that they're dead? Yeah. But after all, all of this, though, again, it's just, Troutman, best character besides he Rambo. He is the best character. I definitely agree with that one. Yeah, he just comes in and it's all like, like, God didn't make Rambo. I did. And he just starts <laughs> saying, like, if you're going to do this, bring a whole lot of body bags. <laughs> Again, just so, again, just, he is so well acted, well handled, and yeah, you just feel so bad for him, too. He's seeing Rambo John going through all this, and he's just like, come on, son, let's just go. And he's like, no, no, they're not going to go. They drew first blood. And that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Both sides aren't going to let go. Mm -hmm. Like, both sides had some, like, good Cry. reasons behind their motivations, but they both were stubborn, dug in, and went too far. Exactly. They went way too far. And, I mean, again, John could have just left, and the sheriff could have just let him go. Mm -hmm. But nope, because the sheriff, he wanted to prove that Korean vets were t still tougher than Vietnam vets. They're not. I hate to say that. They are great soldiers, but the stuff that the Vietnam vets had to go through, yeah, you had to learn much different tactics. I think the Korean War was probably the one, one of the last wars that used traditional war tactics. Mm-hmm. Then Nam, they had to rewrite the book for Nam. Mm -hmm. Especially when you hear Rambo talk about one of his own friends getting blown up by a kid posing as a shoe shine boy. Oh man, that's just that's just really rough. You're gonna have really difficulty trusting people again after having gone through stuff like that. And then he caused the whole. He came home and no one knew him. They just called him baby killer and all that. It's like I ain't killed no babies and all that. It's just man, and that's how it was back then. It was like they, they, they were brought back and they were treated like they were scum of the earth when it's like uh, only some people might, might have done that, not all of them. Mm -hmm. And even then, none of them took enjoyment out of it. Yeah, it's not like they were doing it sadistically. They just did it because they had to. I mean, they got drafted. And you know what the worst part is? Back by that point, the draft was reworked to if you were in college or you were raised a certain amount of money. Well, more if you were in college and stuff, you didn't have to go. By that point, they were scraping the bottom of the barrel for draftees. A lot of the time, people that went in the NUM were druggies or criminals. Hmm. Think about that. Now, I don't know. Now, Rambo, no, no. He was doing his duty. But just think about how it was for everyone being around people like that, right? Mm -hmm. People who sometimes would get drugs and just to get high because they needed their fix. Not again, not saying that Rambo went through that, but you can imagine if he did. Mm -hmm. And again, the fact that opening up, finding out that the last of his crew died of cancer, mm -hmm. that was a strong opening right there. Yeah, it's and, just like, that just sort of like sets the the tone for like the rest of the film. And it felt real. Mm -hmm. The way, you know, Stallone acted and everything, it just felt so real. So it did feel a little bit of a jerkish moment for the, um, I guess, the mom of the guy to just wait until finally he gave the, the photo before she finally said he's gone. That did feel a little bit, but I guess she wanted proof, I guess. But it still felt like, why are you taking this long to tell him that, that your son's dead? Hmm. But yeah, overall, this set a high standard. Very high. And we both know going forward, it's just going to be mindless action going forward. But really, how could you repeat this? You really couldn't. Mm hmm So, yeah. We're going to go through the next four. Yeah, we're going to rewatch Last Blood after going through all these. And... Next one is going to be Rambo, First Blood Part 2. We'll see you there.